me if they like. What difference does it make if the bullet comes from a comrade or from the enemy? Did they ask me if I wanted to get into this war? No. They made me fight against my wishes. I tell you this war. Any war at all is a foul and rotten thing. And patriotism is a loathsome lie. I'm through. Let them stand me up before a firing squad if they like. I tell you, gentlemen, there is nothing finer than patriotism. Nothing nobler than war in defense of the country we love. The best service you can render your country is to take up arms when the nation is threatened. Our only salvation lies in our military strength. We are hemmed in by enemies on all sides and only through war. What's wrong? What is it? Gentlemen, gentlemen! Walker, Garrett, Polnar, Tanakus, Cherry, Mamichet. You gentlemen will not leave just yet. The rest of you may go. Line up here. Boca, give me that note. What note, sir? The one you boys passed to each other while I was trying to teach you a little about history. Now, come on, let me have it. At three o'clock, there will be a meeting for the election of president. Pass on the word. President of what? Paul Street Boys. What's that? Another club? You know how implicitly I forbade the forming of any kind of a club. But this is different. We have to, to protect our playground. What playground? The vacant lot in the lumber yard in Paul Street. You see, sir? It's the only vacant lot in the whole neighborhood. It's the only place we have to play in. We love it. And we swear to be free forever and protect it with our lives. From what? Very out. Terrible very out. They're bandits. They're always raiding our game. He's twice as big as we Science. are. Science! I've had complaints about this fairy arts before. I'll take it up with the principal of his school. I'll see to it that his gang is disbanded, and yours too. They've threatened war against us. Nonsense. But you just told us that there's nothing nobler than war in defense of the country you love. That's different. Now listen to me. I hereby declare this club disbanded. I'll put a stop to this silly business. Don't let me hear of anyone having a hand in such a thing again. Go home now. Good day, Good day sir. Good day. Well, Boca, what do we do now? The Paul Street lot, man. Hey, Robert! Nemechek, step up. Attention. Get the slips of paper ready. Captain Boca, well, ever since we started this club, everybody's been an officer but me. Well, an army has to have some private soldiers. You're the smallest, aren't you? Pardon me, but if Chelly didn't wear high-heeled shoes, I'd be as tall as he is, almost in our bare feet. Silence. Shelly has a bugle, hasn't he? We can't get along without a bugler. And how would it look if our bugler was a private? I can blow calls without a bugle. No, that won't do. It might if we didn't have a real bugle, but we have. Well, then would it be all right if I got a military cap, just like the rest of you, and wore it to drill? I should say not. Only officers are entitled to wear the cap. You know that. Doesn't seem fair. I'm the only private in the army, except for Hector. He's only a dog. 
Everybody orders me around. I must do everything. Look at him crying. Lieutenant Garab, enter Private Nemechek's name in the black book for crying in small letters. Just look in the black book. See if it isn't always my name that's in it. And now it's small letters. You don't stop crying. You can't play with us anymore. We won't have anything to do with babies. Yes, sir. Private Nemechek, sharpen this pencil. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Twenty-two votes for Boca. Uh, and, and only two votes for Gara. <laughs> Should have been unanimous, Captain. No, I knew it couldn't be that. Because I voted for Gara. Who else voted for Gara? Gara, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Want any office anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Attention, men. We've got to do something about those red shirts. I can see right now, those red shirts are going to try and come in here and drive us away from this lot. We're not going to let them get away with it. Even if it means war. <laughs> the sidewalk like they always do. We mustn't let them. Well, why did we? I don't know. It's easy enough to figure out. The red shirts just pulled a stand and deliver on us. They took all our marbles. Wouldn't have happened, Boca, if you'd have been here. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Won't happen again. We can't put up with this any longer. Stop it. I've got to think. I said all along we ought to do something, but Boca keeps putting it off. Next thing you know, they'll be taking our lot away from us. Of course, I don't blame Boca for being afraid of fairy arts. Boca isn't afraid of anything, are you, Boca? This is no time to discuss such matters. I'm convinced now it's an impossible situation. Right here? No. 
Keep on going, Private Nemechek. Keep on going. Keep on going. now. Yes, sir. As you were. Don't be afraid, Nemechek. top of their biggest fort and took it. Wasn't anybody there? About a dozen of them. Pull up the skate open. Nemechek's name in the black book for leaving the gate open. I didn't leave the gate open. I didn't. It was Ferry Arch. What? Ferry Arch was just here, and he took our flag away. What happened to the flag? Ferry Arch took it. Assembly. Anybody can see this is a crisis. If we let Ferry Arch keep our flag, we might just as well give them the lot and be done with it. Do you want to do that? No. Then we've got to get our flag back tonight. Are you with me? Yes. yes. 
Got to go to the botanical garden. The red shirts meet every night. Leave this note. The Paul Street boys were here and got their flag back. It'll be a dangerous mission. Who'll risk their life with me? Who'll volunteer? Thank you. I can't take all of you. I can only take two. Please take me, Captain Boca. I want to do something big and important. I want to risk my life. Maybe if I do, I'll get my promotion. Please take me. If you don't, I'll go myself. I've read a lot about spying, and I'm very good at it. Please take me. Very well. We'll meet here after supper. And men, we may not come back alive, but dead or alive, we'll bring back that flag! trying to do? Let him know we're here? But how we get in? Well, climb over. And remember, we're here to get our flag back, and we can't go home until we get it. find a new place to meet. The watchman said we had to get out of here because we were making too much noise. He's afraid of losing his job. You don't need glasses. I can see the island as plain as day. Well, it's better to look through glasses. Shall I put my ear to the ground? No, the thing to do is put you in the water. You best. I'm afraid they might have heard the splash. Guess not. Let's get in that boat.
can't take a bath. Why don't you wait till you get home? I'm sorry, sir. We may need it to get away in. If anybody sees you, whistle. Hadn't I better stay here and got the boat? I can whistle better than Chinakas. No, you're liable to fall out. Come on. Down, man. Do, do you see what I do? Come here. Well, well, there are two ways of getting into the lot. One of our own men, a traitor. You go through by way of Mariah Street. Why, you can get to the fort by sneaking through the wood pile. Yeah, I know. I was there yesterday. There weren't any guards there yesterday, except Nemechek. He don't mount to anything anyway. Well, I don't want to take the place when there's nobody around. It's going to be regular war. If they can defend the lot, well and good. And if not, we'll capture it and put up our flag. We've got to have a ball ground. That's all there is to it. You're to see that those gates aren't bolted. All right. On your feet, men. You gotta start home. Haul down the flag and get your weapon. Don't forget the Paul Street flag. All right. Into the bushes and stack on. Forward! Get our fight, but we'll let them know we were here. You wait here. Don't budge. Street boys were here. They must still be around. Come on after them. Ah. Anybody cross the bridge? No, sir. Look, you fellas go over the lagoon. The rest of you fellas go around that end. You men take the back.
idiot. You've forgotten you're in a glass house? I'll bet they saw the light. They did. You see, now we've got to hide. Where? Here's a tool chest. Hey, how about me? You're what anyway? Get in the pool. another door. They must have slipped through that way. Come on. Come on out, number check. No, you can't go out today. You've got a cold. It doesn't bother me at all. Oh, it sounds worse. The doctor said to be very careful. Uh, we can't afford colds in this house. Please let me. Stop annoying me. How do you get so ambitious all of a sudden? Why are you so anxious to deliver the suit? I might get a tip, and then I could buy a military cap. Hmm. You told me you weren't allowed to wear a cap. Not on a lot, no. That's against the regulations. But I could wear one at home. Nonsense. I'd like to get used to wearing it. I'm apt to be promoted to an officer any day. I distinguished myself the other night on a dangerous mission. Please, Papa. I'm sure it would help my cold. Well, no, your mother doesn't want you to leave the house today. My cold's better, Mother. Much better. <laughs> What's he been bothering you about now? He wants to deliver the suit for me. No, he doesn't. It's just an excuse to get outside. He wants to go over to that lot. I won't have him stirring from the house today. Well, you see. Maybe I'll get a tip. If I do, I'll come back with a military cap. Mother. I should think you could stay home once in a while. You spend all your time over there. I told you, Mother, there's liable to be a war. Let them fight the war without you. But I'm the only private. They need me. No. The doctor said you had to stay home until your cold was better. Please, Mother. I'm going over to Mrs. Weiss's to get you a nice hot bowl of Kimmel soup. That'll make you feel better.
That eat. Anything to report? Well? Sir, I beg to report the flag you stole... Captured. Captured from the Paul Street boys is gone from the arsenal. Any of the weapons gone? No. Everything is there but the flag. Somebody captured it. Stole it. Stole it. Any footprints? Yes, sir. They were small ones. Must have been one of the Paul Street boys. We've got to get busy. Yeah. Let's hear what you've done. Oh, it's my opinion that we may be able to get the place peacefully. Huh? I've thought it over. After all, I used to be one of them. I wouldn't want to see any of them get hurt. What I mean is, uh, why should I be the cause of... Come on out with it. Oh, I bribed a watchman, and he's agreed to drive the Paul Street boys off the lot. What do you think we are? We don't offer bribes, and we don't bargain. We take. If they won't give up the lot peacefully, we'll take it from them. And no watchman and no bribing. What kind of underhanded business do you think this is? And if you're a coward, go on home. I'm not a coward. If I was, would I be coming here like this in secret? Well, don't you think the Paul Street boys know you're with us? No, sir. Will it be safe for you to go amongst them tomorrow? Sure. Even if they're suspicious, there isn't a one in a bunch you'd say anything. Why not? They're all afraid of me. Who did that? Nemechek. Yes, Nemechek. That's who I am. And you needn't bother to look for the person that stole the flag. Because I did it, and here it is. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you dropped in. I didn't drop in. I came down from that tree on purpose. I heard every word you said. Now you can do what you feel like. I'm alone against all of you. Well, come on. You're all right, Nemechek. What's your full name? Erno Nemechek. Jake. How'd you like to join the red shirts? No, not for me. I belong to the Paul Street Boys. Suit yourself. But they usually beg to get into the red shirts. But if you don't want to, well... What'll we do to him? He's too small to beat up. I might give him a ducking. Come on.
rather be drowned, I have my brains knocked out, than be a threat of life. Go on home, kid. Ourselves. The enemy is bigger and stronger than we are, and there are more of them. We can't outfight them. We've got to outthink them. I figure they'll attack us from both sides. So we'll have to divide our army into two sections. Half of us will defend the Mariah Street Gate, and half of us the Paul Street Gate. This will be a battle for our lives. And we don't want to force anybody into it. All of those who don't want to get into this war, step forward. Is there anybody? No! no! Mr. President, what about Garum? Never mind about him now. We have more important things to think about. Private Nemechek will hand me our war map. Pay strict attention. Keep all eyes on the map. Let's be systematic. These black spots, E1, E2, and E3, are the main forts. These will be reinforced by sand bombs. Forts 1, 2, and 3 will guard the lot on the Mariah Street side. Forts 4, 5, and 6 with sand bombs will help divisions A and B defend the gate on Paul Street. When they attack on the Mariah Street gate, I'll give you the signal for the retreat. Then you'll run behind the wood piles toward the shack. And then? And then what? I don't know yet. I'll have to read a couple more chapters. Oh, before I forget, I'll need an adjutant. Now, on account of Nevertech's bravery and going into the enemy camp all by himself at night, I decided to reward his heroism and appoint him my adjutant. Don't you think, sir, that an adjutant should be made an officer? You mean you don't want to be adjutant? No, sir. But if I only could get my promotion now, I could be an adjutant and an officer. We'll take that up after the war. Well, then about my name in the black book in small letters. Couldn't that be taken out now? We can't stop at such detail, Private Nemechek. Kone. Yes, sir. See each man is assigned a place. Yes, sir. Have some of the men start making sand bombs at once. Yes, sir. <laughs> to have a word with you. The best thing you can do is to get out of here. Look, Boca, I know you're under what I've been doing, but I'm not here as a spy. I'm here as a friend. After selling us out to the Red Church? I don't know whatever made me do a thing like that. Here's the flag that Perry Arch carried off, and Namachek tried to get back. Let him keep it. You go back to Fairy Arch and tell him the only way we'll get that flag is to take it away from him when he comes here tomorrow. But suppose you can't. Suppose you lose. Well, then we won't need a flag. We'll be leaving here anyway. Poker. I know I did a rotten thing, but I want to do the right thing now. Won't you forgive me? I've done that already. 
I've forgotten about it. And won't you take me back? No. Under no conditions? No. should have stayed home. Oh, I'm all right. I'm feeling fine. You don't look it. Come on, you better sit down. Richter! Yes, sir. Close this gate. Yes, sir. Paul Street boys? Yes, sir. I'm Garib's father. Tell me why you expelled my son. Because he betrayed us to the red shirts. You say my son betrayed you? How? Well, I, I only heard. Come now, which of you knows anything definitely? Who saw him do it? Who, who knows the facts? Here they come now. You see that little blonde fellow? His name's Nemete. He knows all about it. Come on, you gotta get home. Oh, no, Boca. Please let me stay. I'm all right. I don't want to miss anything. Nemechek? Yes, sir? I'm Garib's father. My boy came home crying a little while ago. He told me that he was, he was accused of treachery. Y yes, sir. Well, if what you say is true, there's going to be trouble for him. And plenty of it. Now, these boys tell me that you know about it. You needn't be afraid of me. What I want is the truth. Well, is my boy a traitor? Is he? No, sir. He's not. I knew my son couldn't do anything like that. Yet you condemned him on the word of a person like this. Now I'm going home and tell my boy to come right over here. And I think you all owe him an apology. You're all right. You're going home right now, this minute. Good afternoon, Professor. I don't see the professor. Oh. Entered my name in the black book in small letters. I know you don't want to have anything to do with me, but I couldn't stay away. Especially when I found out how you all lied to my father to protect me. That was Nemechek. He didn't want you to get punished. I saw Ferry Arch and his gang. Told him I was through with him. Told him I was a Paul Street boy and I'd stay a Paul Street boy till I died. What happened then? Then I ran. The whole lot of them chasing after me. But I got away. How do I know you're not lying? Please believe me. I want to get back with you. I'll promise to be loyal from now on. You can even take my commission away. 
I'd gladly be a private even. I want to take part in a battle. I promise to make good. Please, Boca, take me back. You've heard what Gerald had to say. Nemechek's forgiven him. Shall we? Yes. yes. Shall we take him back? Yes. yes. All right, Gerald. You're assigned to Lieutenant Colnay as private. I'll see how you behave during the battle, and you may get back your rank. Now remember, what Gerald did is dead and buried. We want to forget about it. You too. The subject's closed. Yes, sir. General, the enemy! <laughs> Three of the red shirts, and they got a white flag. Why don't you make sure what you're saying before you yell out, you scary fool, you? Billy, Coley, Canuckers, the rest of you get back to the wood piles. I'm the spokesman. Well, state your mission. We come on behalf of our commander-in-chief, Ferry Arch, to declare war on you. We decided not to surprise the enemy, but we'll be here at 3 o'clock sharp. That's all. What's your answer? We accept the challenge. Now about the rules of combat. There will be sand bombs, wrestling, and fencing with spears. You're familiar with the regulations? Yes. We understand that Nemechek is sick. Yes. Very sick. We have orders from Ferry Arch to pay him a visit. Could you tell us where he lives? Number three, Rocket Street. Thanks. March. Low assembly. Arch sends you his greetings and hope you'll be well soon. Who? Very Arch. But he's my enemy. Sure, but he likes you. So do we. You're all right. Here's the marbles we took from you. Very Arch says to give them back. We'd have given them back anyway. When will the war be? This afternoon, at 3 o'clock. And I can't be there. I guess maybe it's our fault that you caught cold. But we'd feel pretty good if you'd forgive us. Forgive you? <laughs> Bye. Take care of yourself. Paul, oh, who goes there? The Paul Street Boys. mission? Yes. What do you want? Here's our flag. Boca says to give it back. He says to bring it with you to the battlefield, and we'll take it away from you. That means we win the war. If we don't, we lose. Agreed? Tell your general we'll carry the flag to war this afternoon. Attention! Bow face! Forward march. What time is it? One o'clock. Only two hours more. What did you say, darling? Oh, Boca. May I see Erno? Yes, he's been asking for you all morning. God bless you, my boy. Somebody to see you. Boca, how do you feel?
doctor. Is he worse? No. Mr. Nemechek, I, I want to be frank with you. I didn't want to say anything in front of your wife, but that little fellow of yours is very, very sick. Well, it's only a cold, Doctor. After all, a cold... It started as a cold. The child is very low. You mean, you think he... What do you think we ought to do? We are very poor people, Doctor. We haven't much money. I can make you a suit or an overcoat, anything. Only you've got to help him, Doctor. You've got to. Well, if there's a change in his condition, you let me know and I'll come right over. What did the doctor say? The doctor said... He's going to be all right. There's, uh, there's nothing to worry about. Doctor, how is he? He's very sick. some news for you, Nemechek. We've taken Gero back. But only as a private, mind you. And listen to this. We've made you a captain. You're fooling. No, it's the truth. You're Captain Nemechek now. Please enter that in the minutes. But how could I be a captain when my name is in the black book in small letters? But it isn't. He's been taken out. And your name and title have been entered in capitals. It isn't true. You're only telling me that to make me feel good. I'm not lying. Look, I brought your Paul Street cap along. The boys all chipped in and got it for you. And I brought the black book along, too. Minutes and everything. Listen, at a general meeting of the Paul Street Boys today, the following resolutions were adopted and ordered recorded in the official book. On page 17 of the book, there's an entry which reads, Arnold Nemechek in small letters. This was based on an error, and the recording secretary will hereby enter the name of Captain Arnold Nemechek in capital letters. Did you hear that, Arnold? Look, here's your name in capitals. He's asleep. I'll be back later. take charge of the battery in number three because it's at the corner in the most dangerous spot. Yes? Well, I'd like to have to be put somewhere where it's even more dangerous. I'd like to fight in the open, right from the front line trench. Is it all right? Yes. You're all right, too. Thanks. Adjutant! At your command. Check all right. What about the reserve bombs? Stored in ports four, five, and six as you ordered, sir. Oh, who goes there? Don't you even know your own general? That's the kind you want to stick up before the firing squad. Yes, sir. The 
fake retreat works. We can get the red shirts to chase us into the shacks. We got them. Chinakas. Yes, sir. Let's see it. Usually, what fighting from hilltops? We'll clank the top of the fort. Where's Boca? He's gone. He's coming back. He went to the lock to war. I want to go to the lock. Give me my clothes. No, no, you can't. Then I can't go to the lock. Stop. Run. You can catch him before he gets the hopes. Oh, my boy, try to rest. You have your calf, my boy. My boy, Dad, it's two or three. We'll take them. If you rest and get well, I'll get you a bugle. Yes, yes, and a uniform, a full uniform. Your mother's gone for the doctor. You'd be right here. Lie still, baby. Please try to rest. Get you a belt. He has a shiny one. It's shoulder straps and a gun. Lie quiet, baby. Police the doctor. Oh, wait. Oh, you wait. How about my double breasted brown coat? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Why does he whistle? I'm sorry, Sandra. He's been that way all day. Oh, it's too bad. Uh, it's it's tight in it's tight in here. Yes, sir. I'll see to that. Seems to be slightly short. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Yes, uh, Put a little padding into the shoulder. Yes, sir. Uh, now, when will it be ready? I'm afraid you'll have to wait till the end of the week, sir. If only the child weren't sick. Well, it's too bad, and I'm sorry for you. But as I said before, I've got to have it in a hurry. I'm leaving town.
The troops on the Paul Street side can only keep the enemy in check. They're coming! They're coming! They're coming! They're coming! They're coming! The enemy! To your post! Open both gates! Both bugle! fighting <laughs> and all over an empty lot it ain't an empty lot it's belgium elsis lorraine manchuria it's anyone everyone yesterday today and tomorrow it's always the same <laughs>
putting up an apartment house after all. 